Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading for the for finance for the second half of January 2019. Uh, this month I go live every single day at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you want to catch me live, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and you can catch me live. But uh, let's see what we have going on for you here, Aquarius and Aquarius. All right. Yeah, some sort of return. Some of you could be returning to a job. I feel I feel that for only a few of you is what I would say. Yeah, you have the King of Hearts coming up first and the King of Diamonds, yes. So some of you could be returning to an old job is what I would say here. Um, or you could be returning to a field that you worked in in the past as well. So again, I feel like, you know, again, maybe you were, you did something else in, in a past job. And now it's like you're going back to a very similar type of job. So maybe it's not exactly the same place you worked. But for some of you, I feel like it is. For some of you, I feel like you could be going back to somewhere you used to work. For others, I feel like it's just to an old field that you used to work in. For others of you, this could just represent a great boss. This is somebody who's, you know, a new boss. This could represent a new job. Somebody who's very, like, um, stable, very hardworking, but also very fair, emo like, emotionally balanced and just, um, you know, kind of a great person to work for. Could be male, female, whatever. Again, I don't attach sex to my cards, so it could be any sex. And, um, you know, like I said, somebody, this would be somebody, this is like a visionary energy, these two things right here. I feel like this is, um, you know, kind of good energy for you know just like, like a good type of person to be with for others of you i'm getting business partner so again if you have a business or you're thinking about starting a business i feel like this is talking about either getting a business business partner or having one and I, I think that will help you in some way is what i'd say with these two cards here uh next you have the eight of diamonds with the nine of clubs i love this uh really good combination um co this is just opportunity and this is more money uh, this is a card of standing out uh, nine of club says you need to do everything you possibly can this month to stand out in some way it's a card of recognition and achievement but it says that you have to like do something to be recognized you have to do something to get this achievement and again this could be like a promotion at work a raise at work so it says like do as much as you possibly can to stand out in some way for some of you, this could be like going to your boss and asking to take on extra responsibilities. For others, it could be, you know, you, ju you just do it without being asked and then you get noticed. So it's, it would be an amazing month for you to do that. Uh, also, if you have a business, this is great because it says this is amazing for standing out in like social media or with marketing. Again, if you work in social media, maybe you read cards on YouTube. Maybe you are, um, you know, maybe you have a YouTube channel. This, is a, this card here says try something new, try something different. Try to get yourself to stand out in some way. Put the work in. It'll be worth it. This card here represents material success on the horizon. If you have a business, this says social media, social media. There needs to be something that happens with social media. You need to do something more to try to get noticed on social media or you need to put like content out or something like that. Again, if you do have a YouTube, what I would say is put out as many videos as you possibly can. Now, this card is like a kind of a card of, you know, throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks. So it does require a lot of work, eight of diamonds, a lot of work, but if you do it, a lot of money. So I would say do it. Next, you have the uh, seven of hearts here and the three of spades. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird. Everybody um, has had this message of, not everybody, but a bunch of signs have kind of been affected by love in some way. So again, love, I would, I would just be careful of like if, if you go through a breakup or something, that could definitely, you know, have you depressed. It could affect your financial situation. This could also just be leaving one job, going to another. Uh, this has come up for other people as well. This is leaving a job, and this right here is getting something with stability. This card is called the family tree, and it it does seem like I don't know, I don't know what's going on in the chart here. I have the chart up. I don't know if it's North Node and Cancer or what, but I, I just feel like people over the next I don't know probably like a couple of years, few years, maybe three years might be much more attracted to the type of job where it's more of like a family atmosphere where it's more fun less serious you know that type of thing so i feel like a lot of you could be attracted to those types of positions for others you could be trying if you have a business you could be trying to create that um you know you could be trying to create that feel in your business at this time uh, next you have the five of spades taking a risk and the ace of hearts so fortune after difficulty happiness uh, things lining up in your favor. Five of Spades says take a risk. I do, I, like I've said, I've been saying it all year. Again, all the energy in Capricorn, it's like pretty risky. It wants us to take a risk. It wants us to take calculated risks as well. Um, it doesn't want us to be like stupid. So like, what the heck does that mean? It's like maybe we, we want to try marketing, you know, with, um, you know, in our business, but uh, all this energy in Capricorn is like, okay, uh, I want you to try marketing, but you have to have like a very solid plan. 
of how you're going to do it. And you also have to be realistic about it as well. It's like, um, you know, the danger here is saying, okay, I'm, I want to try marketing on Facebook, but I'm only going to spend $25, which is like nothing, right? So we have to be realistic with Capricorn as well. Like maybe we, the risk would be $1,000. Maybe that's a lot of money. You know, it's a lot of money, but it may, maybe it's a risk, but it's kind of like right at the right level for Capricorn. You're not going too crazy. You're not spending like $10,000. You're not being too cheap, spending only $25. It's like you're kind of like somewhere in the middle. Um, and then what the Capricorn says is put together a plan where it's like, you know, you, you test only a certain type of ad at, at, a, at a time and you really run it through, get enough information and then move on to the next thing if it doesn't work out. So, you know, have a plan. I'd say in work, same thing you know, with the Capricorn in the risk. It says, in work, maybe it would be a risk for you to ask your boss for a raise. Maybe they'll, they'll say no. Maybe it would be a risk for you to tell your boss, I'm not going to take on these extra responsibilities without more money. And, you know, again, maybe you're afraid you'll get fired if that happens. But, you know, this energy is saying, take that risk because it'll probably lead to more happiness for you. Uh, and finally, you have the Ten of Spades, just a job change. Uh, ten of Spades is like the card of, you know, can represent depression, sadness, and anxiety, and all this other stuff. But it's also a card called the Ship. Um, it can represent business, by the way. So if you have a business, it's a very good card. But it can also just represent going from one place to another. So some of you could just simply be moving. You could be simply getting another job, going from one to another. Or um, some of you could be confused about it as well with this Eight of Clubs. It's like maybe you feel pulled in a certain direction. And I feel like you need to trust your intuition here. It's like you could be pulled to, like I said, maybe leave a business behind and start a new one. Or maybe you could be pulled to leave a good job behind and start a new job. But maybe there's a reason for it. So I feel like you need to um, you know, listen to those, you know, thoughts and those feelings and uh, listen to like where you are being pulled is what I would say here. But uh, it looks really, really good, Aquarius. A lot of good stuff here, definitely. Um, so thank you for watching and enjoy your month.